I find I grow most when I'm out of my comfort zone, but I'm in awe of everything, smiling and laughing through it. <laughs> when I see and experience it as an adventure, an exploration into other worlds, and admire and celebrate the beauty, the love, and the bliss of every moment. A space of mystery where you expect the unexpected. Did you record that? I did. <laughs> That's good. Good content. The beach is so miraculous to me. It's a bridge between two worlds of those who live in the water and those who live on land. So we made it to the beach. Yep. Hola. 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 And we're about to go in. I'm about to do some stick work, actually. Be like right here. Looks epic. I think the part of me that enjoys playing with sticks is part warrior princess and also part five-year-old boy. Either way, giving myself permission to play like this is so healing and nourishing for me. Feeling extremely accomplished. Activating pillars of light all around giving gratitude and honor to the elements, the ancestors, angels, and guides for directions and cosmic beings of the highest light. And so it is. Wow, that's so great. <laughs> so good. So beautiful, so vibrant. <laughs> so magical. So I was telling them about this story when I first came to Costa Rica and I swam and surfed with my first shark. So when I came to live here, I came here fully alone with not much items and didn't know anyone but was invited to teach yoga to the locals in Costa Rica. And once I got there, I had to go immediately to the beach and I found this beach that was fully secluded. No one was there. I was the only one. And I grabbed my surfboard, I went out and I was catching some waves. Not a very good surfer, but I caught a few, caught a few waves. And while I was out there, I saw someone else come into the ocean and I was like, hi, and I could tell that he was American from his accent. He just like said hello and I kept surfing. And while I was on my board, all of a sudden I see this fin come right up to my board, right beside me. And I knew instantly it was a shark. And I was like, shark! And I screamed for the guy to know, and I thought that the guy would help me or something, but he instantly ran out of the ocean. So I was like, oh, great, now I'm the only one in the ocean with this shark. So I knew that I had to catch this wave back into the shore, or I would be swimming with the shark, because it just kept kind of like swimming around me. Not super close, but swimming around me. It was present in the ocean. So I was like trying to psych myself up. I was like, all right, I've got this. Like, I can catch this wave. So I got, on, I got on the board and I was like trying to meditate, trying to stay calm. I'm like, I can do this, I can catch this. I've caught many waves. I definitely can catch this wave to save my life. So I try to get up on the board, crash. Fully fall right where I originally saw the shark. And instantly I was like, okay, I may die. This may be it. And when I get into those spaces, I instantly become calm and kind of just surrender fully. Like if this is my time to go out, it's my time to go out and just accept it and with that it ignited this like meditative essence within me to where I was like okay with dying at that point by a shark in the ocean I mean if I'm gonna go out like that's a pretty cool way to go out and I got back on my board and was just breathing very calm and got up caught the wave got right into shore and made it so it was perfect and with that just 
confirmed the power of being calm, surrendering, trusting, and not freaking out. Because originally, when I first saw the shark and I tried to catch that wave, I tried to be calm, but I wasn't. And I didn't catch the wave. I fell because of it. But when I fully surrendered, trusted, I made it. I caught the wave, got in, and we were safe. So that was my first time being in Costa Rica and swimming in the ocean and it was definitely an initiation. It's kind of like this relationship and connection was created because I had trusted and was supported and safe within the ocean. So yeah, after that, kept going in the ocean, never saw a shark again. Plus the waves of the ocean, it's so healing to be taken by the waves and have to surrender to the flow. We cannot control the elements, Mama Ocean, the forces of nature, but if we flow with them, if we allow them to be and we ride them rather than trying to fight them, then it's so healing. It feels so good. It's like a dance. And just a little pointer if you are afraid of sharks in the ocean, I always like to ask the dolphins and the sharks and Mama Ocean for protection. But dolphins very specifically, they can feel your frequency, they're so telepathic, they communicate through sonar waves. I like to ask the dolphins for protection, please protect me, and I feel like they can even communicate to the sharks more so than I can, to where it's like we're good, like, oh she respects us, I pay my respects, my homage to the ocean, to those who live in the ocean, and with that we remain protected. So I haven't had any other like shark experiences and I feel like that's why. Bashar, somebody that we've all watched before, he has an interesting perspective on why animals on our planets are predators and he says that the reason animals on our planets are predators is because it's a reflection because we as human beings are predators. Yes. So it's like an aspect of our level of consciousness on this planet where there may be planets out there where that's not the case. Yeah. I don't know exactly what many animals would live on but it's <laughs> like they don't need to eat each other in order to survive yeah. um, but that's probably like a planet with a higher level of consciousness yeah, you know yes. so yeah they're a reflection of where we are and who knows and didn't you mention too Costa Rica doesn't even have an army yeah so Costa Rica doesn't have an army so because there's only been like Matt was saying there's only been like one shark, shark attack. attack in the last like so many years in Costa Rica in, in Costa Rica, it's interesting. Whereas there's a lot in Hawaii, yes. and then we we're also talking about because in States. Hawaii, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of energetic, maybe aggressiveness between the people that live there and just mm -hmm. the fact that their the land government. was their land was taken from them, yeah. you know, so long ago. So the animals are a reflection of the people. They are energetic as well. So it's like, yeah, it's a totally different energy. It's more of like a fear created too, where people are like afraid of the elements, afraid of the animals, where. If we had a different energy with each other. Whereas here it's Pura Vida. It's Pura Vida. It's Pura Vida. Exactly. Everyone's is this slow. House? Huh? This horse coming down the beach is pretty Pura Vida. So beautiful. Definitely a version of heaven on earth. It's always nice to do nice things for people you don't know and may not ever see again. Number one shoe helper. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, right so in. organized and so good at putting everything back. Yeah, because your professional yeah. opinion. Your yeah, your professional yeah. opinion. It's like his color too. Yep. Okay. Yeah, those are like your color and everything, dude. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> what are you most excited about today? Mm, I'm most excited for the mystery. I love that. I'm excited for the ocean. For the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm excited Oshun, for that too. which you were teaching me about the other day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oshun is a goddess of water and river. She blesses with beauty, fertility, femininity, love, and divinity. Yes, yeah. we will call her in. Yes. Yeah, or yeah. maybe she's calling us in. I think she is. I think so too. Yee! Bless also, me. look at this tree right here. Can we get it up here? Yeah. yeah. I noticed you last night after dinner, just like going over to this tree. And it was an amazing tree. Appreciating it. Erin was like, where's Heather? I was like, she's loving on the tree. Yes, yes, <laughs> I know. had to. Sometimes when I Continue. see a tree and it's just like, 
incredibly beautiful, it's like, oh, I have to go and love this tree. Absolutely. <laughs> Blessings. Blessings. <laughs> And another successful gathering of magical, beautiful souls. Queens honoring queens. Yeah. I love it. You want to get in on this action? I'm in on it. I'm celebrating it. To celebrate the beauty of life is to honor God's creation. Being still enough to receive and experience the beauty of all the simple things in life is the ultimate worship. There's like three or four. <laughs> This is called chile, chile kwehe. Chile wahe. Chile wahe. Yes. This is called golden roots. Yes. And originally, the first time I ever tried this was in Tulum, Mexico. And you spray it in your mouth and it makes your, water, your mouth water up like crazy. It makes you salivate, so it gets your digestive juices going. Yep, so your food digests better. It's extremely stimulating for your mouth. But then when you eat, food is super sensitive to taste. Mm. So the food tastes amazing. Mm. So I, I did this in Tulum. Like, everywhere I'd go, I'd do this. And then I ran out. And then just recently, when we were in ceremony, one of the shaman gave me this. And uh, we've been using it. So we're going to do that before the meal today. Yes, so to be continued. I'll let you know. It's a little stingy, but they bring a green lights. Oh! Huh? He was like three. I know. Wow. I know. Woo! Sensational. Yeah. Even if you can see my saliva. Yeah, it's like pouring out of your mouth. Forgot to uh, get some content. When we first got it, but <laughs> this is round one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 100 natural blue clay with uh, a special honey that actually has like cardamom and pepper and a little bit wow. of cinnamon. Yeah, so good for air oh circulation and, um, and then some aloe vera. 100% mm -hmm. gold, organic. Can we all look in here? Oh, oh my God, you were recording. <laughs> of course you were. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So I'm going to so clean, so nice and green. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Hands feel great from that. You. Yeah. I want to put it all over my body now. <laughs> Rise and shine, so great to be alive. Rise and shine, so great to be alive. The land is so rich here in Costa Rica with life, love, art, nature, and joy. The colors, the vibrancy, the elements, the essence. Each moment so potent. It's so alive, and yet with that, we also need to rest. Blessings family, see you next episode, infinite love, and so it is.